Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got Slim ROM Built 8 for Galaxy S3 which is supposed to be its last ROM on the Android platform 4.2.2 and hopefully the next one will be on 4.3 which is the latest and greatest and uh, all that so uh, as of now it is not available yet a beta version is not available but it will be soon and uh, yeah let's hope for that now let's get into the ROM here is the uh, lock screen which is the AOSP lock screen which is uh, awesome in that respect uh, it has the uh, widget etc etc that's uh, you've seen on, on the most most of the ROMs okay as you see now it is running Nova launcher which is the default launcher on this ROM it is lightweight okay uh, something about the uh, slim ROM series it is uh, this lightweight ROM which is probably the most lightweight ROM available for any any device okay uh, the package is amazing the package is about 92 Megs and uh, the G apps is the all in one G apps is actually more than that. The add ons, all in one add on is actually 100 and something megs. So that's really cool. So, what are the advantages of it? Uh, it doesn't have any bloatware, only the essential ones are there. So, you are not left with um, any crap you don't need. You can install uh, those uh, by. Uh, copying them to the system file if you want to but basically it doesn't have any crap or plotware okay so that's pretty neat uh, what else uh, it is faster I believe so because it doesn't have all those so it is faster noticeably faster and it has a uh, huge RAM available for you to use on what you want to use so that's there so uh, let's go to settings uh, about page here is about you can see it is running 4.2.2 version uh, kernel this one this one okay and uh, slim 4.2.2 build 8 official version so that's cool uh, all of that that's pretty neat now uh, features uh, what are the features as I've said it is faster it is lightweight 90 max it's some serious business okay now uh, let's go to a few of the other features first of all I'm running that feature okay uh, the real dock slim you can see that right here so that is something which makes everything black so if you want something uh, with a darker interface you can have this a lot of uh, ROMs have this implementation but uh, yeah uh, some of them have bugs this one I don't think have any bugs in them Okay, the real dark screen, as you can see, I've disabled it and it's the normal AOSP color scheme. So, uh, enabling that makes everything dark, including the interface, including the G apps. So, you don't have to hunt for uh, inverted G apps anywhere. So, that's pretty neat. Okay, um, now, uh, what are the other features? Uh, let's go. On their website, they have a lo uh, list of special features available on Slim ROM, and I'm reading them off. Okay. Um, Next one is notification drawer shortcut. Let's go there. Here it is. Uh, shortcuts. So you have the option to have notification shortcuts in the uh, notification area, other than the quick settings. These are the quick settings, right? Uh, the features feature of um, this one. So y you will see shortcuts here. So let's see that. Uh, let's just add a few thing, something. So application maybe a uh, calendar and uh, contact no not no contact let's just not add any contact there browser uh, bookmark maybe I don't know what that is okay so uh, let's see that so you can see there is the shortcuts which we just created so that's pretty neat uh, that's cool so you can customize the color of icon color and all. Uh, icon color mode, system and custom system icons, all of that. So that's something you have. It customizes the way you use the phone, so that's pretty neat. Now the other one is that you have option in the notification row itself, in the uh, quick settings, quick settings panel. You have the option to have custom 
panels in the quick settings okay uh, for example let me ch tiles and layout you have these you, ca you can add a lot of these right now there is one custom shortcut which you can make here like you can have this right now you just long press that now you can add something there so it really brings in a lot of things because I really use this all a lot of time let's just have play music there so uh, let's see there it is the play music is in the quick quick settings so that's a really neat feature so uh, for those who want to customize their phones this is really cool it is basic AOSP with really the essential ones on top of it so that's pretty neat uh, you can see it has LCD density setting status bar you can have the clock in the center and whatnot quick peek if you want to hide the status bar you just uh, have to swipe it down for the status bar to show itself something like that so that's cool now uh, custom carrier label all of this you might know themes again uh, feature available from 4.2 or 4.1 I guess I don't remember okay now uh, notification drawer all of these settings is really cool you just saw the uh, quick panel settings that's available in most ROMs actually but not the custom uh, shortcut that's something cool okay now what else uh, slim pie okay slim pie is something which is really cool okay you know the spy interface of cyanogen mod that is available in this but in a much more toned down fashion okay it is it is still there but it doesn't have all that fancy graphics and all okay let's see here it is slim pie let's uh, try that uh, always on uh, trigger option let's see here it is so you see that right so that's it that's the slim pie that's really cool you even have the option to uh, have uh, uh, custom uh, shortcuts on that you can even add something okay here it is uh, custom app you can add custom app even there so it essentially means you can customize the way you, you work with the phone so that's pretty neat actually so let's add phone let's see if that works here it is phone now I'm on phone so that's really neat uh, other op other things about this ROM uh, again let's see now slim center slim center is kind of like update center which has uh, it has more features than that okay it is uh, yeah, you can see you can read it here right provides tools and information for to help you make your experience with slim ROM better upgrade automatically and it has a slim slim sizer which can make your uh, ROM more slim okay uh, it works in the way like you have these system uh, apps here right you can uh, delete even these without any knowledge of slim uh, this uh, file manager or anything like that you can just take it here and delete simple as that be careful with this it can cause problems with yours okay so don't just delete stuff you don't want be sure that it is the stuff you want to delete okay so that's there so uh, what else uh, uh, alternate default upgrade the upgrade which shows you the default you can have that to show a list instead of grid and I guess the rest of them are normal AOSP settings you guys know that more than me maybe okay so that's pretty cool it has C clock you it is available in the add-on uh, section of this ROM I've added everything I downloaded the all-in-one add-on aroma launcher so that's pretty neat I guess that so, is um, pretty much it about uh, slim ROM um, that is really awesome ROM okay this one really makes up for the unique package it offers okay it is slim it is lightweight it doesn't have all that bloatware it has a lot of features which are essential which you really want uh, on top of uh, an AOSP ROM so that makes it really special so um, again waiting for the next version which will be on 4.3 base so um, I guess that is it so uh, thanks bye